Hey, yo. Morning, Dad. Wait, take it easy. Hola. The weather is marvelous. Sir, good morning. Dad, you see? I'll take a look. What some people give away, huh? Look at what you can find hiding in the gutter. Selfless of you, making sure something this fine isn't lost. I won't ask where it came from. Look at you, little hoarder. Bien. Whoever gave this to you was very nice. A family heirloom, I'm sure. Look at what you can find hiding in the gutter. Much appreciated. Pardon's my load. Thanks, partner. Well, okay then. I heard this too.
Hello, mister. How do you do? You know a good place? Get some food? Wouldn't you know? Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Ah, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Go on and move.
Okay, boy. Careful. What the hell? I've got to take this shit. Won't you support our veterans and their Excuse families? me? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Hey, mind you, Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please! No! Oh, you bastard! Well, hey, I think that fella might have just been hardly believe that. Let me vote. Let me What's vote. Let me vote. I, didn't do that. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. This man's crazy. Put money or your life. You cheat. All right. All right. Damn it. You got me. Come here. It won't happen again. Okay. Just a bit of cash. That's it. Nice doing business, Mitchie. Let women vote! It's time to let women vote! <laughs> That's how the streets are. Hello there. Make this country a real democracy. Hello, mister. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. Let me vote! It's a national disgrace. Bonjour, monsieur. Vote. 
beg your pardon. C'est la vie. Eh bien. Bonjour, chérie. Ma'am. Do you want to have a good time? I'm fine, thank you. No worries, darling. But I can assure you I am worth every cent. All the best to you. Take care, dear. Je vous sure. salue. Let's end the suspense. Hello. What does have to do to get drunk around here? Oh, what do you have? Gentlemen, how many glasses am I drinking? I get something to eat. You're not even good drunks. Bonjour. Not bad, huh? My apologies. You got horse shit. Will you let me go? You're as good as Barry. Die. 
Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's... Very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Come on. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm a little. Trust me. 
this place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Let's go, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. 
Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found... ...found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branch for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. God damn it! Ah. We should go on foot from here, Arthur. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. boy. Alright. Gotta keep looking. to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Hope Dutch is enjoying his brandy and cigars.
heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. What was that? Think it came from around here somewhere. Something in here. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. You boys found my puppies watching. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Something in here.
got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. <sighs> Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Passing you. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. 
Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah, I'm in it. 
An unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stay together. You know, tomorrow. You mean like a normal family? Look around you. Ain't nothing.
Hello, boy. Uh. Say goodnight to everyone. Goodnight, everyone. And don't stay up too late. Hey, boy. Come here. 